Hey Ravens fans, I am with one of the newest Ravens, one of the rookies, running back Buck Allen from USC. Buck, you've been here for a couple of weeks now. What, what's it been like for you? Amazing. Uh, fast pace, you know, everything thrown at you, but, you know, being a professional player, that's what you, you know, prepare yourself for, to be prepared every day, whatever is thrown in, just taking the execute the best ability. So I introduced you as Buck Allen. Your real name is Javorius. Who calls you Javorius? Does anybody, do any of your teammates? Uh, Javaris, um, not really. Everybody called me Buck, you know, and, you know, Buck is not even a family name. I got somebody, my cousin already named Buck. We just call him Buck Wheat because, you know, he was small. But, you know, when I go around my family, Buck just go out the window. Family call me Vars or, yeah, Vars pretty much. Uh, and, and just so you know, if you don't know at home, Buck got the nickname because you were a starter on the varsity team as a freshman, right? And so you were the only guy everybody called you Young Buck? Yes, and it was also another Jabar, so it would just, get confusing, so they just called me Young Buck. All right, so Young Buck, now you also just graduated from USC, and USC is a little bit more serious, but you were the first person in your family to graduate yes, from college, and you also gave a speech at USC. What did it mean to you, first of all, to be the first person in your family to graduate from college? It was, it was amazing. You know, to have my grandmother, my mom, my little brother, my granddad there to witness that was amazing. And to see the reaction on their face is, is priceless. And, you know, that's something I always wanted to do. You know, I always wanted to take it to the next step. And giving that speech just, you know, just made it even better. And my family supported me since day one. They always, you know, supported me to be the best. You know, I always set a great example for my little brother. Even my older brother, you know, he's locked up, but I still try to, you know, I'm the middle child, but I feel like the older brother. So in the speech that you gave, not a lot of people have an opportunity to give a speech, especially when they're graduating. You know, maybe later in life, but when they're graduating, very few people have the opportunity that you had. What was the message that you wanted to get across to the people who were there in the audience or maybe your family as well? Pretty much, uh, you know, a little history of what I went through and that everybody need an angel, no matter, you know, when it is. You maybe, you know, you can be somebody angel or you need an angel. And pretty much, like I said, my family been there for me and, and God put different people in my life to help me get to this point. And, you know, I just come out and work hard every day and, you know, thank those who helped me get to this point. You know, the list is long, but they know who they are. They know you know, to help me get to this point. And, you know, God blessed me in many ways. Mm -hmm. and, and Buck, your journey here wasn't easy. They're certainly not compared to a lot of other people that have made it to the NFL. How well prepared do you feel like you are given everything that you've gone through leading up to this point? They're prepared. You know, this only once in a lifetime opportunity. Everybody don't get this chance, so take a full advantage of it. You know, just God gave it to you, he can take it away just like that. So I never take nothing for granted. Always, you know, looking forward to the next step and working hard. All right, Buck, well, we appreciate your time. Thank you, and welcome here to Baltimore. Thank you.